Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on creating a simple PHP strategy game. In the last video we had worked on the safe.php which holds all of the game information along with the navigation. So now what we're going to do is, as you can see, I can log out and I can log back in. So now what we're going to do is edit this main content area for the main.php. Now the main.php is going to show your stats. So we go to main.php and if the user is logged in, remember, all content is going to go here. So what we can do is, I'm not really sure how we want to stylize this, but we will Okay, let's try and figure out how we want to style this. We can do tables, we can just list off all the information, we can do a combination of those two. I think we'll do a combination of those two. So what I'm going to do is I will close and open the PHP tags. This way we can mainly work with HTML. You can echo HTML code, but that just gets kind of annoying. So we'll just do this. So what we're going to do is we will say your stats. We, this will be the name of the title of the page. So it has your stats. And actually, let's get rid of that. But center it and we'll throw in H2, maybe even H3. Your stats. Okay, that looks a little bit better not really concerned at a few break lines just to make sure and now we're going to create a table with we'll just have your username okay so we'll have table then inside this we will have our tr which is I don't know table row something like that and td is table column I don't know why it is like that um, that's just how it is so what we can have here copy and paste this so this will be the username and here we will have in italics we will add the PHP tags here now inside these PHP tags we will have echo user and username don't forget your colon so now this will echo out username between the italics if we refresh this you will see username copophobia I'll actually get rid of one of these break lines here okay that looks somewhat decent <coughs> again not really concerned about it why don't we do let's see table We'll have cell padding of let's just say three and cell spacing of five. Let's see if that changes anything. Lo and behold, it does. So now what we want to do is this is our username section. <coughs> we can let me just see. Sorry, I haven't really worked with tables in a while. Okay, that won't work. So now what we do is we can copy and paste this and you will see that it's like that since we're not really going for looks here we can do whatever we want really so we can say we'll have our attack here and our defense after it so in here instead of user username we have stats and uh, sorry Tech. So if we copy and paste this, change this to defense because that's the defense that we have, we will see that we now have 10 and 10. <coughs> so now what we have to do is add in also the gold, the food, and then we can add in the number of villagers as well. So one for gold, one for food. 
and change this right here. So we have gold, food, inside here, gold, food. You can um, take a second to pause this video and just make sure you're caught up with me. So I'll do that now. Okay, I didn't actually pause the video, but I took a pause myself, just, you know, checking my email and things like that. So now if we go back here, you can see that we have 100 gold and 100 food. So now what we have to do, also add in the villagers. So this right here, actually let me just see if I can uh, add in maybe a little bit of a break between them. Oh, that looks much better. So we will have, we'll add in another break here that will just have a blank TR and a blank TD. Or, yeah, blank TDs. So this is basically a empty layout right here. See, now you can see that there's a little bit of space. So now what we want to do here is one, two, three, four, five, four, sorry. So we have workers, oh my God. <laughs> we have workers, farmers, warriors, and defenders. So now here we change to units, or unit, sorry, and worker. So if we copy and paste this, I mean, you don't have to copy and paste, you can actually delete everything and type it back out. I'm just doing this because it's a little bit faster. We have warrior and defender. I could always change that to attackers if you wanted to, but again, it doesn't make too much of a difference. So if we refresh this, five workers, five farmers, zero warriors, and zero defenders. If you go to units, five, five, zero, zero. So that works. So now that we have all that, that's essentially our main. We'll see. Back to YouTube, still uploading. Slow internet, I know. So now that we have that, I think we're safe to end this part of the tutorial for right now. Um, in the next tutorials, I'll be going over purchase, training and untraining units as well as buying and selling weapons. So that'll probably be about four tutorials tutorials total. And then once that's done, then I will uh, update the database to prepare for battling other users. I will see you in the next tutorial.